I'm Rebecca Powers with Sterling Lancaster Community Television here at Animal Shelter Inc. in Sterling with Melissa Snitzer, the shelter manager. Today she's going to give us some warm weather safety advice. This is Stewie, and he is a domestic short hair, male, five-year-old cat. Uh, he is a very friendly cat. He's been here at the shelter for about a month or so uh, because he's been being treated for some chemical burns that he had when he came in. Uh, but he is ready to go home now. This is Smokey, and he is a domestic short hair male, 12-year-old cat. He's here because his owner could not afford to keep him. He's a pretty laid-back cat, um, and he does well with other cats and with dogs. He's a little bit shy at first, uh, but he does open up. And as you can see, he does need to lose a little bit of weight. This is Mickey, and he is a domestic medium hare. He is 12 years old. He qualifies for our senior program. Um, any cat that's over five years old can be adopted to a person 55 and over at no cost. Um, so Mickey here was left in an apartment. Um, he's very friendly and loves to be with people and he likes to be held. This is Sunny. She is a domestic short hair, 13 year old cat. She was an owner surrender. Uh, they brought her in because they had too many pets and couldn't take them all where they were moving. And the previous owners say that she acts young for her age and likes to talk. Um, and she's a very petite cat.
This is Momo. He is a lop bunny, about three months old. He's here at the shelter because he was an Easter present that the children did not want to take care of. Um, and despite his cute small size right now, he will actually be a fairly large rabbit when he's full grown. Uh, and he is a friendly bunny. All right, so while the weather is getting warm outside, what can we do to protect our pets? There are a couple of things to think about uh, as the weather gets warmer. First of all, if your pet likes to travel with you, uh, summer is a little bit dicey as far as bringing your animals wherever you go. Unless your pet can come out of the car with you where you're going, you may want to think about leaving them at home. Um, hot cars can be very dangerous for your dog or your cat. Um, on an 85 degree day, your car can reach 102 degrees in 10 minutes, even with the windows cracked. Um, so heat stroke is a very real uh, danger uh, if your animal is left in a hot car. So be aware of that. Um, also in the hot weather, make sure that your pet is staying hydrated. They drink quite a bit of water um, and if, even if you are someone who needs to take water away from your pet like an hour before you go to bed make sure that they have enough during the day so that they can stay hydrated throughout the evening um, and also when you take your pet out to exercise uh, during the hotter weather try to do either early morning or evening walks um, when the weather is a little bit cooler and they won't be as warm when you're out walking um, and also sometimes asphalt gets very hot so think about your paw your your animals paws when you go out walking too and then if you're walking in the woods think about ticks uh, they are quite bad this time of year and you always want to check your animals after you're done with your walk and a new tip that I have just learned about is to use a lint roller. Um, sometimes the ticks are just crawling on their fur and they haven't attached yet. So you can lint roll your animal. You can also lint roll yourself uh, to check if there are any ticks on you that way. <laughs>